Hey there, YouTube. How the hell are you? Now, before we get into today's episode, I got another piece of artwork here by Jacob Baines. This is a piece that, as far as I know, is untitled, but we can see a little caption there on the bottom. Peanut, which is crossed out. Rascal meets new friends in the realm of balance. Uh, actually a pretty interesting and slightly depressing idea here, YouTube. Here we see Rascal the Honey Badger, who had unfortunately passed away last episode, uh, with a few of the dwarves from Delairshalid. You can see Baby Beard there behind Rascal, and even Delair the Razorback, Ask Teshtalon over on the side there, which I still don't know where the hell that thing got off to. Really kind of a shame, but oh well. Just gotta keep on trucking, I suppose. I think it's a pretty interesting idea that everyone who I've lost so far has ended up in the afterlife together in some sort of a, a realm of balance, alongside the great balanced beard I tell. I'll tell you, I love it when I see people be creative. It just really gets me going. And to know that these videos are having an influence on people like that really makes my day. Thank you, Jacob Bain, for this awesome piece of artwork. You are a goddamn rock star. And as for the rest of you, hammer those anvils, oil those beards, and prepare yourself for today's episode. Once again, to the Hero of Balance. Last we left off, our hero, Bim Silversnarl, had returned home after visiting the Goblin Capital, where he had slain hordes of vile trolls. Upon returning home, though, he had discovered that Snarl Hill had been invaded by Beak Dogs, and one of his Honey Badger companions had fallen. Has our hero faltered in his faith? Will he continue his quest for balance? Let's find out. Alright YouTube, first things first, I've been told by the Honey Badgers that I keep, uh, apparently forgetting their names. Which is an outright fabrication. I can never forget any of their names. Uh, so I'm going to name each and every one of them. Which you can do if you look at them. Uh, Frail Honey Badger Woman. Let's see if she has any distinguishing marks. Uh, no. No, she does not. Uh, so I will name her... We'll go with Beanbag. And um, over here we have a chubby honey badger woman, and she has a scar on her stomach. So we'll call you Chubsy. Over here, a muscular honey badger woman. We'll call you Scudge. There we go. Skinny honey badger man. We'll go with Chip Chipso. And we have Moonface. And last but not least, this one seems to already have a name. Elestkokeb does not roll off the tongue. Kindweller, uh, with a scar on her leg. His leg. Hmm, I don't know why they have a name. Kindweller is a pretty cool name, but I think I like... Cucumber. There you go. Fantastic, okay, so they each have their own special little name now. I'm not gonna get them all mixed up anymore. I'll take this, this body of, of poor, poor rascal who died last episode and put it in a pile with the other corpses. Just like that. Alright, now, um, I did not do a final kill count last episode. Well, I believe it was somewhere around 750 trolls killed and buried seduced, which is the name of the goblin capital, and I really have to remember to call it that. Not just the goblin capital, it's called buried seduced. On that note, I actually did go back there between recordings and uh, killed a bunch more trolls. I didn't particularly want another episode of just killing trolls again, but I also acknowledge the fact that I need to kill a lot of trolls. So I went back there and spent an entire day killing more trolls. And at the moment, I am currently up to uh, nearly 1,400 trolls killed in Buried Seduced. Yeah, I mean, it looked like I was getting to the end of them last episode. But when I had gone back there between recordings, you wouldn't have known that. It was like a damn beehive. They were all over the goddamn place. Still civilians, too. No warriors. Um, yeah, and there's still a whole bunch there. I mean, I actually just had to leave because it was starting to get nighttime. This episode, I don't know what I should do this episode. I didn't explore too much when I was in the Goblin Capital. Oh, uh, Buried Seduced. I was trying to just mostly stay in the main chamber and kill them as they popped up. Didn't want to accidentally run into anything interesting, so I might head there at some point. But you know what? Actually, I think something important we have to do is build a little uh, tomb sort of an area for these poor fallen warriors here. So I think first things first, that's what I'm going to do. 
Hey, what was that? Was it a beak dog? I swear to God, I just saw a beak dog. Over here. Yeah, it's a goddamn beak dog. Get the hell out of here, you sneak. Scramble engaged. Uh, that thing runs pretty darn fast, but not fast enough. Shwink, and it's dead. All right, see, I don't like that shit. I guess I'll take a look around to see if there's anything else. Seems to be about it. Stay the hell out of Snarl Hill, you damn beak dogs. Anyway, okay, so construction. We still have some wood laying around here. So let's let's plan something up. Actually, the Throne of Equality is still not finished. I don't know why the Honey Badgers or Bim won't finish building the thing. But maybe I'll see if I can get this place finished first. There's still no actual roof on the bedroom, which is, you know, like shameful and stuff. So yeah, let's see if we could do that. No, it doesn't look like anybody's interested in building at all. I don't know why. Maybe I'll just get rid of all these planned constructions and, uh, replan them. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. I don't know, that seemed to work. Huh. Yeah, I just got rid of the constructions and, uh, planned them up again. And I was actually able to build some of it. Well, that's good. Alright, so first off, I'm gonna spend some time trying to get this place in order before I even start building that little tomb area. Just one moment. So the Hero of Balance and his ever-enthusiastic followers finally managed to get the Throne of Equality into a proper, finished state. Alright, YouTube, the Throne of Equality is now finished completely. <laughs> it's episode 6, it took way too long. But here it is, you can see it in its full glory now. The throne room, uh, dining room, bedroom, the veranda. And then it continues up many Z levels and kind of slants in from the back. And there's also a couple windows out front here, little fortifications. Nothing too fancy. Uh, I ran into an odd, annoying bug while I was building the thing, where after every time I would build, the game would get really laggy, and sometimes it would crash. I'm not too sure what's up with that, but it made it a bit difficult to get anything done. I had to keep saving and reloading games if it crashed. Uh, but that's enough of that. Let's see, next we should build a little tomb area for the fallen warriors. Where to make that? Uh, how about over here on this little piece of land? Yeah, I like that. It won't be anything too big now. Or fancy for that matter. They are just carcasses after all. Alright, there we have it. Just a couple Z levels tall. Nothing too fancy, with just a slanting roof and a couple doors out front. That'll get the job done. Alrighty, YouTube, our brand new tomb is completely finished. And I'll tell you, this uh, this bug is a giant pain in the ass. You can see how laggy the game is right now. The first time it happened, I thought I was under attack, and there was just an army of trolls around me. I'm not too sure what's causing all this lag. Uh, you can see inside, I placed a bunch of caskets, 10 of them. And we could always expand this place if needed in the future. But now that it's all completed, I suppose I should grab the carcasses of our fallen friends and inter them in these nice new caskets. All right, let's see, how do I put these guys in the caskets? Okay, Honey Badger Man Partial Skeleton Put in Hazelwood Casket. Okay, there we go. Honey Badger Man Corpse in a casket. Oh, I could also put a bunch of them in one casket if I wanted. Hmm, that would be efficient. But we have the room now, so might as well spread them out. After Bim and the Honey Badgers got Snarl Hill into a proper order, they decided to rest and take it easy for a few days. A rest well deserved by all. Until the fateful morning when the Hero of Balance felt the itch of adventure calling to him. A call he had to heed. I'll tell you YouTube, this is nice. Just walking around the wilds or flopping around the wilds or whatever Bim does. Just kind of relaxing, no big objective going on. Just checking the place out. No dank, cramped old goblin fortress. That place sucks. But this, this is what a leopard seal man needs. Just the wide open horizon stretching out in front of me. Anyways, just strolling through the light hill here, YouTube, and uh, I hear something above me. And if we look up in this tree, there's a, a whole whole flock of rhinos just hanging out in the branches of this tree. <laughs> they seem they seem to be a bit panicked. Uh, so yeah. Um, actually, neat idea. Let's chop the tree down. See what happens. <laughs> uh, fell the desert lime tree, and uh, hmm. I guess they must have just disappeared. That's a shame. Oh well. And we continue. Oh shit, crab people. Oh, that is sweet. Good day, crab people. Greetings, my name is Transname. I don't even know what the hell to call you. Uh, we'll call you Shelly. <laughs> How about Krusty? Claude? <laughs> we'll call you Claude. Uh, ask for a cease to hostilities? <laughs> Let us stop this pointless fighting. Never. I will brag about my past of violent acts. I am the extinguisher of Lacey Glee Stuttered, the tar of painting, 
who sought my praise only to be rejected in death. You are Lord. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, okay, um, it's always the same crap whenever I'm talking to you damn animal people. Tell you what, I'm gonna begin a performance. Let's, let's do a little dance. Oh shit, I just killed one. Oh, uh, that was an accident. It was, it was an accident. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> the crab woman says, I'm feeling optimistic about the future. Then I punched her in the upper body with my right hand, and the injured part exploded into gore. Like her entire upper body? Holy shit. I'm sorry, it was an accident. <laughs> I must <laughs> I must have just accidentally whacked her with my arm when I when I was dancing. <laughs> shit, sorry, I'm sorry. It was an accident. Death is all around us. The horror. Yeah, <laughs> shit. I, I, I'm really sorry, guys. I didn't mean that. Um, I'll tell you what, I was, I, I did do a little dancing there. You got to see my skill, even though it kind of ended, uh, on a sour note. But maybe you'd like to join me anyways? Let's entertain the world together. A demonstration of your skill might convince me. Okay, well, I guess I will. Guess I'm gonna dance again. I'll, I'll dance over on the side here. There we go. Okay, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. No, maybe not. Maybe I'm not dancing. Why am I not dancing? Yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on with that. Well, luckily these crab people don't seem to be uh, too irked by my killing of one of them. Alright, crab people. Um, how the hell can I get you to come with me? Alright, let's try to have a nice conversation. What do you say? Hey. Hey, it is good to see you. Uh, how are you feeling right now? Death. This is truly horrifying. Uh, I agree. Hmm, let's see. I will state the value of friendship. Surround yourself with friends you could trust and you will be unstoppable. I guess I'm not sure. Uh, I will, I will press the argument. I must insist. When all other bonds wither, friendship will remain. Yes, I can see it clearly now. There's nothing like a good friend. So true, so true. On that note, let us entertain the world together. A demonstration of your skill might convince me. Uh, I danced before, remember? It, it killed your friend. When I, when I danced before, I guess I'll try it again. I, I don't know why I'm not able to dance like the full dance I usually do. I say dance. The sensual bewilderment, of course, the only dance I know. Move to X. Moved. You begin an improvised dance. And it just finished, I guess. That was the whole thing. Usually it's much, much longer than that. I'm not too sure what's going on. Crab people, I really want you to come with me. That'd be so awesome. How about, uh, will you guide me to a location? Please, guide me to Steel Clutches, the Grim Fortress of Conquerors. I don't know myself, and I don't even know anybody that can tell you. Oh my god, you guys are useless. Fine, just stay there. I, for some reason, don't want to kill you. So, keep your lives today, even though you're not exactly allies of balance. Well, it is almost nighttime. How about I get some rest? Make a little campfire here. Sounds good to me. Haven't had to sleep in the wilderness for a while. Uh, really quite a, a restful sleep, I'd say. No damn honey badgers crawling all over me in my sleep. Oh, I feel uneasy. Not too sure why. Let's give it a second and see if we can find out. Oh, what is this? A muscular cheetah, eh? What do you think you're something? <laughs> you ain't nothing. Was that it? Wow, that really was nothing. Anywho, back to the road. We do have an asterisk over here. I'm gonna check that out. Mongoose people. Okay. Although, I guess I'm not gonna get my hopes up quite yet. Um, you know what? I'm gonna start off with the performance. Just cut straight to the chase. Hmm, I'm not too sure why I'm not finishing my dances anymore. That's a bit irritating. I, I am almost entirely sick of talking to animal people, I guess. Shout out to everybody. My past violent acts. Join me. As an entertainer, I would rather not. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just got really lucky with those honey badgers, meeting them for the first animal people that I saw. Because I've really been able to convince nobody else to come with me, except for those warhog people, but they all ended up just leaving after a very short while. Maybe one day I'll find more honey badger people. You never know. Hmm, something interesting here, YouTube. We have just discovered a lair. This is towards the western side of the continent, near Waterboat, the dwarven capital. Let's take a look. We're currently in the Red Hills. Caspapap. Just as a side note. Alright, it's just to our south, down this little hole here. Uh, I don't see anything. Nothing. Completely empty. The dwarves of Delarshal had probably killed whatever lived here. Oh well, let's continue. Night has come once more, and I'm going to sleep till dawn. 
and it's morning. Alright, I am 100% convinced that there are no boogeymen in this world. It, there can't be any. I've never been attacked at night. Oh shit, giant black bear. Here it comes. Oh, I figured I would kill it in one hit. Well, it fractured its skull. Better than nothing. Ow. Alright, buddy. You realize I'm a demigod, right? Alright, that's a little better. And it's dead. Easy enough. Got a ton of meat on that. 43 pieces. And we continue on our way. Hmm. Interesting. I'm currently in the Molten Tundras, which seems a little contradictory. I've never been down here before. A frozen wasteland. Just snow and ice as far as you could see. And here we see a giant crab. Oh, uh, it's way too fast for me. Giant penguins. That's interesting. Job well done. Well, I am starting to get drowsy. I guess I'll have a bite to eat. Make a fire here. And I will interact with my wooden barrel here that was once filled with water but is now filled with ice. And I will choose to heat that on the fire so that the ice thaws. And now we can drink that water. Good stuff. And we'll get some rest. Oh shit now. A yeti. Nothing we can't handle. Chopped his hand off. And his other hand. And there we go. Anyways, I'll continue sleeping through the night now. And we continue once more. Not a whole heck of a lot out here. I was hoping to find more layers or something like that, but not finding a whole lot of anything really. Scattered beasties. Once again, feeling uneasy. What do we got? Show yourself, beast. <laughs> what is that? Oh, a small wolf man. A wolf man? <laughs> Let us stop this pointless fighting. Oh, he has no interest in stopping, apparently. Um. Boop. Okay, now he's got no head. Huh, well that was easy. Just one? One wolf man? Oh, no, here's another. Um, listen, wolf woman. I am the master of Arifi Plank Bruise, the Ford of Marshes, who lies dead. Now only an embarrassing memory. As she attacks me. I feel well. <laughs> she frantically tries to attack me. Come, join me in my adventures. As she still scrabbles away at me, trying in vain to murder me, I guess? Goodbye. Grab her with my right upper arm. Grab her throat with my right upper arm. And I will choke her throat with my arm. And I will strangle her throat. And she passes out and falls over. Okay. And I'll just, I'll let her go for now. Alright, listen, uh, Chica. I don't want to kill you. I don't, okay? How about I do a little dance here? Just, just over here. Uh, right, right over yonder ways. I need a place big enough for my big old body. Ugh, I'm not gonna find a place, am I? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to perform some music. The bewildering music, where I simulate a mastod, some sort of an instrument. You begin improvising music. You make a mockery of the mastod with a shameworthy performance. <laughs> I don't know what a mastod sounds like exactly, but just picture Bim standing over this unconscious wolf woman, just kind of like... <laughs> A confusing sight, I would imagine. Hope oh, she has regained consciousness and is again trying to attack me. Listen, woman, I have no interest in uh, this quarrel. You would make a fantastic ally. Just come along with me and we can be friends. Well, she doesn't seem to be doing anything to me at all. So maybe I'll just kind of like walk away and, um, you know, maybe it's just how she is. Maybe that's how she, she shows that she's my friend. So let's continue on, wolf woman. I'm sure in time I'll gain your trust and you'll stop attacking me. Yeah, I think this is gonna work out just fine. This way, Wolfie. Yeah, I mean, she's just trying desperately to murder me. <laughs> and she's fallen to the ground from overexertion. Oh, she's all tuckered out. That's cute. <laughs> Alright, listen, catch your breath. Catch your breath. You can try to murder me after you can stand up again. You're gonna hurt yourself. You gotta take care of yourself. Yeah, I mean, she's really just trying to get at me. Alright, I've taken her down. So, I'm actually like... Forcing her to the ground right now. Let us stop this pointless fighting. Yeah, it's not working. I mean, she's actually gonna kill herself from trying to kill me. Alright, that's enough of this shit, lady. I'll grab her tail with my right hand, and I will pinch her tail with my right hand. <laughs> this will teach her. And I, I pinched her tail and tore apart the fat? Holy shit, that's a, quite a pinch. I'm gonna pinch that tail again. <laughs> it doesn't feel good, does it? You're gonna want to stop. What the hell else can I do? I'm gonna grab, I can grab her tongue. I grabbed her tongue. And I will pinch her tongue. Oh god. I, I pinched her tongue off. <laughs> what shit. Um. Oops. Yeah, she seems to be a bit panicked right now. Help! Save me! She says. Oh, <laughs> this is the first time she's talked. Of course, she, she talks after I yank her tongue out of her head. Alright, uh. I'll ask for a cease to hostilities once more. Let us stop this pointless fighting. She says nothing. All right, lady, I'm trying to work with you here. All right, I'm gonna pick her tongue up. There we go. Oh, shit. 
Oh, I just punched her in the stomach. That was an accident. I did not mean to do that. You're gonna have to believe me on that. I will fight no more. Help! Save me! Yeah, she, she wants nothing to do with me. That's freaking ridiculous. Okay, I've had enough of this shit. I will throw her tongue back at her, bruise the muscle in her hand, which twisted her arm so badly that it tore apart the skin. That was quite a throw of a tongue. And I'll punch her in the head. She's dead. Okay, that's that. On my way. I was just thinking that when I first made Bim, I had the option of starting at Delarschlid, or I could start at that place called, um, what the hell was it? Sinful Princes? Which is right up next to the Goblin Capital. Maybe I should check that place out. I completely forgot about it till just now. Um, in other news, there's an asterisk right by me. I'm gonna check that out. And I've discovered a lair. And the asterisk seems to have gone into the lair. That's very interesting. Alright, we have another hatch cover here. And um, actually those hatch covers that I had encountered in Evil Kings there, uh, I discovered that a lot of hatch covers are actually uh, kind of bugged in Dwarf Fortress, but you can go through them if you move carefully through them by holding Alt and then choosing to move below the hatch cover, just like that. But I suppose I should be on my toes while I'm here, because we just saw something enter this lair. Nope. Oh shit, what is that? A crone of the night. That sounds unpleasant. Uh, Kulor Sedmekish Muthrumsos, a large one-eyed humanoid. It has a narrow tail and it shambles sluggishly. Its eye glows yellow. Its clear skin is waxy. Now you will know why you fear the night. Indeed, I now know. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem like a good thing. I'll let her approach. <laughs> she says, Greetings, my name is Kolar Merkiash, the dead Umbra. <laughs> I will ask for a cease to hostilities. Uh, she attacks me. I couldn't even speak. That's incredibly rude. Well, obviously you don't know who you're messing with. I am the master of Smoltzu Terror Slap, who am I buried alive under a mountain of hatred? Um, I killed more than a thousand trolls, so, I mean, that's what I got under my belt. I feel like she's a, she's gonna be a toughie. Haha! <laughs> I hit her with the pommel of my axe in her leg, and now she's on the ground and I'm standing over her. Chopped her arm off. I have improved my striking! That was not satisfying. I would imagine that it's not very satisfying, no. A whack to her arm. She's taking hits like a pro. Got my axe lodged in her leg. Mm, she tried to bite my arm. Mm, I punched her in her chest and tore apart her spine's nervous tissue. That seems like a good hit. Ugh, you bitch. Slippery. Alright, I'm pretty sure I chopped off both of her arms at this point. She's still going. Okay, there we go. Lopped her head off. And I will take that head with me. Gross. What is this? A zinc cauldron filled with water. That's pretty neat. Oh, I can't take it with me though. Well, it's a shame. This creature here was probably one of the last horrible monsters left in this world. Gotta be getting down there now, right? I imagine we're getting to the end of that sort of stuff. Well, good riddance. Alright, now I guess I'm just gonna keep looking around. This is kind of fun, actually. Now that I saw that, I mean, how much more of that stuff is in this world, exactly? Well, let's find out. Yeah, I mean, I really had no plans for this episode, but this is kind of working out, I think. Just exploring the world, seeing what I can see. Starting to get sleepy once more, and there's actually a, another asterisk over here. It's nighttime, and I probably shouldn't go screwing with it. Oh, and I feel uneasy. Something's moving my way. Oh, shit. A troll of the night elite wrestler. Another one of these damn creatures. Akia Omethatim Akia Orim. A large, scaly humanoid. It has a long, swinging trunk, and it has a bloated body. Its black scales are blocky and overlapping. Now you will know why you fear the night. Um, I think we'll start off combat by throwing this other creature's head at it. Uh, it missed. Okay, well, worth a try, right? I will strike this beast in his foot. Rather, you know what? I'm going to punch him in his foot, because that's a really easy strike. And I missed. Oh, but I just hacked him in the arm with my axe. That should make him a bit more manageable, I imagine. Got him good in his leg. And, yeah, we can just go crazy now. He's fairly incapacitated. Yeah, he's not going to do anything now. Show's over! Easy enough. And I will butcher it up, and I'll take that skull, and I'll have to make sure to grab this other head here. There we go. And I'll tell you what, actually while we're at it, I'm going to butcher off this head. I don't particularly want to keep the thing's nasty, stinking head in my backpack. A couple of really cool skulls to add to our collection. Awesome. Alright, well, I guess I'm getting drowsy now, so I'll make another fire, and we'll sleep through the night. Seeing two creatures like that back to back makes me think that this corner of the world is uh, where all the nasty shit may be still lurking. Maybe worth my while to check out this place thoroughly. Of course, I did also mention that dwarf place up in the northeast. 
I should really go check that place out. Well, since I'm in the area, I guess I better stop off at home real quick. Drop off some of this crap I'm lugging around. Maybe get a nice night of sleep. Yeah, that sounds like an idea. Okay, and we are home. There is still some god-awful lag here at Snarl Hill. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Hello, my honey badgers. I know I've been gone for a while. Sorry about that. I'm home now. How's everything doing here? You've been holding down the fort? I'm sure you have been. I wish the game wasn't lagging so bad. God, this is horrible. Alright, well anyways, I got a little drink in me. Let's head to bed for now. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to check out Sinful Princes, the other odd dwarven place. It is the next morning now. I'm going to have to throw these skulls inside. What the hell? Why is there a crab inside the throne of equality? Uh, I had forgotten to mention it last episode, but I set up this elf skeleton and the human skeleton right by my throne here. I figured that'd be nice. And what the hell? I'll put both those skulls right next to my throne. There we go. Okay, now we can hit the road. Let's -a go. Let's see if I can remember where this weird dwarven place is. But I know it was near Buried Seduced somewhere. Well, maybe it was this place right here. Let's take a look. I'm gonna try to approach carefully because I don't know what to deal with this place is exactly. In Legends mode, it's labeled as a Dark Dwarven Pits, which I think means that it was a goblin created place that was eventually taken over by dwarves. But again, not entirely sure on that. It looks like there's some structures over to my west. I'm gonna keep heading that way. Got some sort of a tower here. Featureless. Oh, and I just heard a couple of dwarves talking to each other. A mace dwarf talking to a hammer dwarf. Oh. Over there, they could well be bandits, but they're not coming at me yet. Seem friendly enough. Um, Moral Amugabuzz. Hey Moral, I have nothing for you. Hello, it is good to see you. Uh, why are you traveling? I am on an important mission. Uh, right. I am the Lord of Uja's Scholar Tattoos, the Fatal Ghost of Shades. Lord of the Society of Harmony, whose insignificant name I struggle to recall. Who? I don't even know who that is. That might be one of those creatures I killed just recently. I am the extinguisher of Kulor Murkiash, the dead Umbra, a spineless slug who is crushed under my might. I would be honored if you would become a hearth person. Will you have me as lord? I cannot accept this honor. I am sorry. Damn dwarves. Well, how about you just join me, huh? Join me on my adventures. I'm sorry, my duty is here. Oh my god, more of this horse shit. <sighs> okay. Alright, well, I guess I'll just have a look around. I've got a feeling any dwarves I see here aren't going to have any interest in coming with me. Oh, here's a way down. That's kind of interesting. It looks like the underground and buried seduced with all the goblin rooms. Probably not going to find much anything interesting in here. Of course, I don't know. And oh my god, there's just nothing here. I don't know what the deal is with these bandits, but nobody seems interested in coming with me. Maybe if I could find their leader, have a word with them. Oh, maybe I can ask them about their leader. Hey, Aitan, I have nothing for you. Uh, hello. It is good to see you. Now, where are you going? I'm trying to carry on a conversation. Scramble engaged. I will ask about the local ruler. Tell me about the local ruler. The Steel of Trade rules sinful princes. Onath Urge Sword is captain. We are in the right in all matters. Onath Urge Sword. It seems like this Onath Urge Sword is a guy I should be tracking down. Alright, well, it looks like there's a cavern down this way here. That's pretty interesting. It looks like one of those storage rooms in the goblin capital. Buried seduced, that is. And... There's some trolls here. And beak dogs. They don't appear to be aggressive. And they're commingling with dwarves. What the hell is going on here? What in the world did I just walk into, YouTube? Yeah, oh my god, there's a ton of beak dogs, a ton of trolls, and quite a few dwarves as well. And they all just kind of seem to be hanging out. What the hell is this place? There's some goblin corpses over here. You know, I hadn't mentioned it when I went back to that human hamlet with those dwarven bandits, but I kept asking about their leader, and they said it was Onath Urge Sword. So whoever owns this place here and, I guess, controls all of these people, also controls the bandits of that human hamlet. That's very strange. I, I would just love to know what is going on here right now. But dude, look up here. There's actually a vulture woman flying up in the air here. Well, certainly in terms of the game, the Steel of Trade, which is this group, seems to be a bandit group, but they don't seem aggressive at all. So to this humble leopard seal man, it really looks a lot more like a resistance group of some sort, camped out in this abandoned old goblin citadel. Trolls, beak dogs, dwarves, a vulture woman? I suppose I should ask around and get some more information about these people. And I should definitely try to track down their leader. A very interesting turn indeed. Will the Hero of Balance ever manage to track down the wily bandit captain? Can the Steel of Trade be of any help in the quest for balance? Will Bim Silversnarl ever encounter another goddamn goblin? 
find out next time in the Hero of Balance. And until then, YouTube.